Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll talk about um, the Flow Designer, definitely. So this is the application development training day three. So if you have not watched my past video, I would suggest that go and watch my past video. So this is just a continuation part of this application development training day three. So let's get started. So in our past video, you can see that the patient record, the table was created and if we click the new record, the state is a drop down and it's a new state, right? So um, I'm going to uh, make it read only for the time being, right click and configure dictionary and make it read only so that nobody can be able to uh, manually update this state. Okay, so now state field is readable. Now we are going to define a flow so that um, it can run okay so let's go back to the studio and here I am going to create a new file called create application file and I am typing the flow and click the create so once I click the create it will uh, open a pop-up and here is the options called flow and subflow definitely we are going to create a new flow called So this flow uh, is created. Now we have to add the trigger condition when it, the flow should be triggered. So whenever the record will be created onto that on which table? Definitely for hospital management table. So okay. So whenever the patient record will be created and definitely in that time I want to um, run this record run this record okay and what I will do initially I want to um, generate a approval okay so I will ask and generate a approval and from here I will select that patient record and um, that's it I will scroll down and go back and approve so here I'll select that the options call anyone approves and then here I should select the user so for example I'll put a particular user so I am putting that able tutor should have to approves or else you can directly select any particular field okay so first of all whenever the record will be created it will be generate a approvals records and if this <clears throat> I'll put the flow logic if the approval record is approved okay then what I am going to do I am going to update the record state as a uh, in progress. Okay, so I am selecting the trigger record, patient record, and here state I am marking as a in progress. So what happens? Uh, I'll put one more condition here: flow logic else. I will update the record as a complete okay so field state equal to complete okay so two things happens here first of all you can see it will ask for it will ask for approval once it is approved it will update the record equal to in progress if it is uh, not approved the record will be marked as a complete so let's save this flow and click the activate
and go back to our uh, patient record okay so this is our patient record we are going to create a record here so whenever the record will be created it will be generated approvals and after the approvals it will be um, the approval record will be uh, basically uh, moved to the in progress state so I'm putting that name and once I hit the save what what are the all things will happen so first of all uh, the, the first thing will be happened created by will be populated and then uh, that one should, notification should be triggered along with that it should generate approval so let's save that so created by name will be populated and if I go back to the emails as per our previous configuration it should generate a notification and then one approval should be created So you can see one approval record is created here for Avel Tutor. Okay. So now if I open this approval record and um, as a Avel Tutor, whoever will be there, if they open this approval record and click the approves, the state should be the state should be changed to in progress. So you can see the state changes to the in progress state. And if I go to the floor designer and I will be see this flow uh, whichever the flow was initiated so let's go the flow you can see that hospital flow was initiated and then if I open this flow I'll see that how it behaves So you can see the patient record is created, ask for approval, it's approved and it's updated the record as a in progress state. Okay. So that's how you can define a flow and drive for further. Okay. So the state is now in, in progress state. Okay. So uh, the next thing we are, uh, I'm just trying to show you that um, I'll, um, show the UI policy a little bit so let's go back to our studio and go back to the forms I'll create one more uh, new sections here So to discuss about that uh, UI policy, so first of all, if you see in the hospital management, if I click create new record, every time the patient details fields or the fields is showing, displaying, right? So what you want here, basically the patient details fields or patient details, this field will be only available and mandatory once your state is in progress, right? So what happens when someone come to that uh, page, and create a record that record will be in the new state and it will be generated a approval right so after approve the record the patient details fields will be in progress and mandatory okay so let's build that so i'm going to um, studio and click new and type ui policy and click create so it will create a UI policy and then the table name I should put as a hospital patient record and here the short description whatever uh, short description you can put you can mention here that make read only it doesn't matter okay scroll down and here I am going to put the state is in progress and submit so it means that whenever the state is new or oh sorry whenever the state is in progress i want to make the patient record field as a mandatory and 
patient details fields as a mandatory true and visible true and submit. So that's the how you can make that uh, create a UI policy. So in the, in the UI policy, you can make only three changes. So using the UI policy only, we can make three things. One is the mandatory, visible and returning. So our case, we created a patient's uh, UI policy and then UI, this UI policy, I make that mandatory true, visible true and read only live as it is when the state is in progress, right? When the state will be in progress, these, three, these two things will be happen. Apart from the in progress, it will be act as a reverse. So let's go back to that uh, our patient record now and type the hospital. Once I click create new, the state is new and as it is as its state is new, the patient details form is not showing. So I'm putting the new record here and date of joining today's date. So once we create that, the state is new and that's why the patient details fields is not showing here, right? And it's as per our it's generate a approvals, right? So once I go to the approvals table and <coughs> open the record. It's in a requested state. After approve, the state change will be changed to new and then patient record will be visible. So let's approve the record. So I just make the approve. State changes to in progress and you can see the patient details is visible and entry. So that's how you can create a UI policy to maintain or to visible mandatory and read only on a particular condition for your form. So thank you very much. Uh, we will talk in our next sessions.